good morning, beautiful morning to you people. Freaky wacky Fridays, like Fridays. Oh, Edit But we are back on A. So I think that we should start all over again. A very good morning to you, community of Melville. To you, good morning, people. Good morning, people. Beautiful Friday. It very, is very beautiful Friday. Sunny, bright beam, and, and it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Yeah, it's gonna rain. I think we're now used to it. it rains. Yeah. Welcome, guys, to the community connection. And let's hope that you guys are gonna keep connecting with us. At the end of the day, the show isn't about Dinero and I. It is actually about you. You people. So good morning, Johannesburg, and good morning, Melbourne. Good morning to you, okay. surrounding areas of this little setup. Uh, YouTube. How are you, Delanda? How are you this morning? Really well, but each one, each one, you know. What is wrong exactly? I'm asthmatic. Oh. So I'm wheezing, so but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. But just because I like talking, you and I like not. connecting with my community. I thought that at the end of the day, I need to come, you know. And you need to be still, with the people, exactly. within the people, within the people, and people still need to know what's happening, you know. You need to keep connecting with people, of course. And yourself, how are you doing? I'm all right, I'm, I'm super duper okay, I'm fantastic. I even went for a jog yesterday, will you believe it? For the first time, me, an entire me, I'm a first time jogger. Yesterday I was the first, and I'm going back today. So uh, <laughs> you shall see me in summer. You go here, I will be just gracing you with the summer body that was invented yesterday. Summer bodies we'll see next year. Um, right now, I think that let's just welcome you guys with a vibey song. I mean, it's Friday after all. Yes, Our producer absolutely. actually owes us that much. You know? mm -hmm. Because we like keeping you guys on your feet. We like seeing you guys dancing. And it's a Friday. forget to tune in to I Love melville.live and we're actually live on tiktok we are hello now. tiktok and people. we've been interacting with people on yeah. tiktok even before being on air exactly you know people actually saw us preparing being on air and, and gave us topics they gave us topics right they were actually talking with us so thank you people from tiktok on tiktoking with us here at and tiktok and exactly so, so our show is actually called Community connections. Come and connect. Actually, about connecting Marvel and its surrounding areas. So, mm -hmm. if you guys want to interact more with us, if you guys have any interesting Those topics, please feel free. Keep on interacting with us here on TikTok. Right now, I think that even you guys on TikTok want to dance. So let's just let our producer and Mrs. Technical producer do their thing and let them play a vibe song. For Friday, Friday. Man, For we deserve it. We deserve it. We Don't deserve it. We do. We need to be Please violent. dance, guys, because we're going to be dancing. We're live on TikTok. Keep tuning in and keep connecting.
we are back on live you guys need to keep on commenting and keep on interacting with us Absolutely. and as i said before that at the end of the day this isn't about us but it is actually okay. about what's happening okay, so, maybe, maybe, so it is actually about mm -hmm. and if you guys want to tune in you can tune into i love melville dot live. and that was a beautiful song as i was talking to you guys while the song was playing you know, Tina yeah, yeah, like Dallas Chiva, we've been in this game for a long time. And you guys remember the original version of this song. This is actually a remix or a read or a read something, whatever it is. But it is the name is still all in all. You know, so hope that you guys are actually enjoying this moment of being with me, Yolanda Sibego, and my co host. So, today we have an interesting topic coming back to Earth. We have a very interesting topic, which is a topic about single dads. So, this one is not talked about mostly. Most people are just ignorant of the fact that there are fathers, you know, there are responsible fathers who are actually um, raising their kids. And you can imagine how difficult or stressful it might be, especially when you're raising a girl child as a male figure. You're raising a girl child. It should be like your, yes, but then it your it's a topic, topic on its own. Very interesting. So, topic. I mean, I need to at the end of the day, about everything about is always about Imbo or It's mm -hmm. always about women. You know, okay, we're having Mother's Day that is coming up next month. So, we thought about for, for one, she, you know, she, 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 to shift this perspective, shift this perspective man. exactly, and actually focus on heroes. There are actually men that are actually doing an incredible job out here. There are actually men that are raising their kids on their own without any women. Do you understand? So, which is why we decided that our topic today should be single dads. So, if you guys are tuning in there on TikTok and still want to interact with us, we'd actually love to read your comments. And at the end of the day, as usual, we always have a superb guest. So, we have someone that's actually going to be with us today. At our uh, it takes a that person is actually a single dad. So, he's going to be giving us more information, you know, about that the, be very the ins and outs of being a single dad. How do you think it is like, man, just being, maybe putting yourself in their shoes? I mean, we as women, we, we, we breeze through almost everything that life throws at us. And it's kind of normal for a, a woman to just be raising their kids on their own. But then how do you think it is for men? I think that in every day, whether you're a woman, you're a man, mm -hmm. Hello, good morning. there's how a struggle you? in everything. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm that for once in sure. our lives, we need to salute such men. So, you know, not mm -hmm. every man is a monster out there. There's actually that is true. good guys. You know, I so we'd actually like to give out a shout out to you, great, yes. amazing dad, Nina E. Koko, and as yes. young kid, you guys that are actually raising your kids Hello. Shout out to you guys and actually we applaud. We, we applaud, applaud you guys. If I was wearing a hat, Kumula is Togo. And if I had a bells Lana is Chido, I would actually be shaking it for the other bells and saying, Give that man a bells. <laughs> you know? So please stay tuned, guys, and wait for our guests at half past ten. And then as usual, just after we talk about introduction introduction. Introdu our intro topic introduction. You mm -hmm. guys are still learning. Uh, what, what is going on? No, are you okay? No, 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 no,
Level, if you guys remember, this song was actually fun. Who was Terence? Terence. Terence. He was this popular guy back in my in my in, in my days. Mm-hmm. I was this guy that was okay, actually oh, guy the guy kept us dancing. Okay. During high school years. Enlighten us. Enlighten us, yeah. please. So, that was him. That was his song. The house victim. Utando. I did that. No, 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 When you found that person, like you're going mm. places, you know, yeah. and then let that Tando come down. You start posting your kids and saying, I love my kids, my kids are my happiness, and everything. Of course, of course. it's always like that. So, Perile, I'm saying, you get it, yes, man. <laughs> you start talking about your kids, about your family, like my kids, my son, my, my boyfriend. Yeah, they, 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 they my life. Like that. I hope you're not like that. So my son is my boyfriend. Yeah, and can I begin with twenty one twenty? Please, we don't want that shit. Please, especially single, right. single mothers, we are not happy with your behavior, especially when Father's Day comes. <laughs> when when Father's Day comes, it's like yo, I'm her father. I'm her mother. No, no, stop that. Stop it. That's crazy. You don't have to be prepared for this. So, going back to our topic, yes, single dads, which is what we're going to be talking about. So, the our guest, do you know him personally? He's called Judah. No. Yes, I know and him personally. Tell me what he's, you know about him and what do you think his he's called? Is he's, from actually, what he's, he's actually a Eleven. superb person. Mm-hmm. He's a businessman at the moment. Oh, nice. He's raising two yeah. daughters alone. From since they were pregnant, toddlers. For real, what happened? Now he stays with his 
daughters. I think that I should give you guys more information. Let him. You know, in most cases, for men to actually become single parents, usually the mother dies or something. What? Like, just confuses me the most is when the mother walks out of the child's life. I thought, what, what kind of woman? Why would you walk out you on So, in the book, you have a woman in this type of woman. Why would you do that? We just yeah, never know. That, so uh, while you guys are actually team. waiting yeah. for our I mean, case and for our topic, yeah, let's see. Uh, let us, for now, dish out interesting facts about today. And what we are actually dishing out is preparing for your voice and how to prepare your CV. Because my CV is a fool. And I'm not going to my interview is a fool. So we actually want to give you guys information about that. How to tackle around that. You know, even the nerves are going for an interview. You know, the, the, that day, the nerves you get. You don't know what, what to say. When you get there, you are mumbling. It's, 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 it's not breaking. We can actually understand. I can understand. I mean, being uh, myself, it's not breaking. So guys, it's very important. How you dress, how you, um, your posture as well. Oh, maybe how you talk. That is very important. You don't just get into the interview room and then you sit down. No, guys. Manners. I think we were taught manners from like a very, very young age, you know? So guys, get in there, interview room. Find the code your name. So what I'm you sure need to do, read them. Have a smile. Please don't be complaining for the interviewers. Oh, yeah. You know, do not oh, be there was a guy who was open. Can I smile? A handshake, so, a firm handshake, please. Oh, and then what you need to do, once they've given you a handshake, you don't just I I love you me. and sit down. You don't do that, don't guys. Like. You, you. As a, you are representing yourself and how you are going to be in the company. So with you just coming inside and then just sitting down with like the people, how are they going to take that? You know, something like etiquette. It's, it's work etiquette and work ethics. It's important. It shows in how you walk, how you talk. People need to understand that. People need to <laughs> of course, you know when it's your first day at, 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 at like your first day at your work or whatever job you're doing i remember our first day here you know we had our shoulders back you know always have to have your shoulders back but the moment you start getting used to them exactly like you're getting used to the place you start getting used to the place taking off your shoes you start taking off your shoes no. Exactly. I'm not going and, and how you dress as well, guys. My advice for people who don't have the the one fit for an interview, guys, a black jean. It goes along. A black jean. A formal blouse or whatever. Your black pumps if you don't have heels guys you know smell nice as well you probably need to be subtle though not too loud but then and another thing man please know the i could say i'm Take those things and I think there are people who are in the So, what you need to do? Be subtle. Yeah, it's more like, like be present to her. Like, it's not an How you are dressed. But you really like. And, and you must wear a blazer if you must. Yeah. No, yeah. for yeah. the interview. And then, you're for women. Please don't be showing the booties, the, the bosoms. People do not need to see that. You need to be covered up. Please, ladies, like, need to come up. Lipsticks. Oh. On some new features, other features, mm. like Guys, no. a template. Of when I say be subtle, sure. I mean be as natural as possible, even with how you look. 
you know, be as natural as possible. Please do not go into the interview again, interview room. Take that tapis out. We know that um so again, again, there are things that you need to do before you are called into the interview room. Take out your earphones for people who love music, for people who like me, for people who are like me, who love music, take out your earphones when you get there. I mean, you never know who's looking and who's not looking. You need to be assertive at all times when it comes to the interview. Go there, um, maybe the waiting room or whatever, the waiting area that, that's provided. Check out your earphones. Kind of assert the place and then you look for um, the venue. I'm going to be hanging out the walls and whatever. And one thing you guys need to know as well is that in order for you to get a job, before yeah, everything you need to know how to do your CV. So what you guys need to know is with preparing your CV, typing your CV, what you need to do is you always need to make a font that is easable mm -hmm. that everyone can actually see and read that's the first thing and you need to also use um, short sentences and break them out you know and you use bulletin points to list information which you keep the tone information formal you know you English have a mistake in your CV you know uh, don't make yourself too much educated you do Hello, not like use how are you? Education, in, 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 uh, you are speaking like to domestic, table, you don't do that. From and then you avoid some abbreviations, you don't use the slang language, and you also uh, avoid photos and images. Me to you, uh, Always have a strong heading, we, and you, you have to have a uh, and keep you your CV. Make sure that it is actually two pages, not more than that. You are yeah, not actually I'm the one who's going to send you actually And then there are people who come with like 25 pages CVs. Uh, Guys, it depends on the job half that you are. Half um, what's the okay, you're applying for. for? I mean, you can't come yeah, with all of your so now We I'm see that, okay. You, um, uh, you, yeah, you're so an academic. Ne? But yeah. with the job that you are um applying for, the post that you're applying for, come with that qualification. Yeah. Because if you're going to come with all of your qualifications, when you did nursing, yeah. you did teaching, you did everything, they're going to see you as a person yeah. who's overqualified and then they won't even take you. Trust me. That 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 always jeopardizes okay. so many people. They won't exactly. take you. People tend to oversell all themselves. Right. All right. Okay, I, I can... I, information you give. I always say to people, I say, yeah. let my actions... No, nah, no, nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I can send it I mean, to you, yes, then you're going to connect the time. Action in everything that you are connected. doing. It's Don't fine. Don't oversell yeah, yourself, because if you're overselling oh, yourself, you know, like, sound as if you are arrogant. Mm -hmm. And once okay, you sound okay. arrogant, People yeah. don't want to work with people that are actually arrogant. Sure. I would say, people don't want to work with people that know too much. So, rather, I would say, 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 we are not saying uh, X dumb people. <laughs> We're not saying that. But just be low key in almost everything. Yes. So I think it's 1027. Why not have another song? And you guys mustn't forget our topic for today. It is single dad. And oh, Mrs. Producer, no, Mr. Producer, are saying no to a song because they're excited as we are about the guest yet. I mean, the topic, Lena, guys, it's not about women. We're always talking about women. I mean, women are always shining, you know. Today, let's let single dads, let, let's let men let's shine. Empower men now. Exactly. You know? Let's empower men, you know, because at the end of the day, not all men are monsters. I think we try, but there is means... actually great people out there. There's great men out there. There's heroes out there that actually need to be known. Mm. And it's a bit actually our job as broadcasters to actually so, put people on the map, you know. So, who is the producer again? Because he's the one that controls the show. No, Mrs. Producer, they actually giving me the eye game, man. Jay, they actually want us to play one more song. So I think that you guys can dance. Well, after that, we're actually connecting with our guest, and he's gonna be giving us more information. Stay tuned and do not leave us, and then let us connect after the song. So, man, we try the guys Friday. <laughs> I go give you the best, no ahala, ah ya ya ya. Show you my money, I know you want it, ah ya ya ya. I 
love me your body, yeah. I love it when you go down low. I told you you my baby, yeah. I can never let go. Zwana wozala kuni nisfuna na kutugana 
chumana hambo skupeli tuna na asambe ni suddenly heaven ni yeni na skupeli Kule skupeli kuzi mba wecha Mani manuva pega mamuva chechele muva Alina none na none na nipe none ni nana Shae mano nini no mana ni nina Sabana kupe mano ma yini na Kuyabonu wanu some danger Ama posa na wapi mi sote ya boba Isante bank na wapi mi sote ya zaina Try clean na the fraud sote ya aina Amo kela bukai sote ya lata Uwe nubani li na pande ma chela
just hope you keep your soul Okay. And they are okay. But anyhow, this isn't about us at the end of the day. It is actually about you. And then you guys also heard it from us. Something wrong. Yeah, the ITE music. Wahala. Mm -hmm. Not Renko. My baby. Baby mine. This is my baby. Mm -hmm. And on. then we had Ingoma from Udren called Sabanga Boy. I'm sure you all heard that one. Huh? Sabanga Boy. So that was a nice song afterwards. And we are going to be talking. We did say that we're talking about single bass today, right? Yeah. And are we getting our guests? Okay, it's the corner. No. Okay, I can call. Like, you, you know, guys, connectivity problem is an issue, man. When okay, so talk of people, whenever we are going to be calling you next, please have your earphones. Please have data to actually in the your emails and all that. So please yeah, yeah. just to be avoiding a lot of things. Because right now, um, we just need to be talking to this person, to this amazing person that Yolanda um is going to be talking to Yolanda and I are going to be talking to this amazing thing of that. Because we we told you. We are not biased. So we are not going to be just looking at uh, moms only. No, you guys matter as well. Like we need to be actually erasing that for men matter as well. It's not just about women, women, women. Because I think we've raised that issue and we've made it clear enough for like we are equals now, you know. So it can't just all the time we are talking about, yeah, women, guys, empower We've empowered each other. It's enough. Well, not enough, but we've empowered each other for so long. Yeah, I think men, men need, men. yeah, need they the motivation. Need ne? The exactly. And they need that direction to be to like, okay, this is the, the correct path that you need to be working on. And today we are commemorating and applauding the single dads mm -hmm. who are on the right path. You know, exactly. you guys. And I think with, with 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 that, such people, such men, actually deserve. To actually have Women's Day. Uh -huh. And just no Women's Day. So those people <laughs> actually deserve to have Women's Day. No. Nah, these guys are always going to the imaginary men's sure. conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must. You guys are always going to the imaginary men's conference. And we need to talk about that. We need a women's conference as well, man. Yes, we do. Um, you know, with us always having connectivity problems, today we actually didn't want to disappoint you guys. We maneuvered around the so problem. We actually found a way. Mm -hmm. about Working around the problem. In the back. You understand? We're still with us here, a community connection. And this is our tech and producer. Our tech, tech people. is actually fixing. I need to put out things like that. Yeah. With our topic actually being a single dance, we have Ulaki Utimeli Ukona. He's actually going to be sharing more information with us. So I hope that you guys are going to be able to hear everything that Ulaki is saying because we actually found a plan B because we are tired of actually skipping our interviews. Hi, Lucky. Thank you for joining us. Okay, like let me just put you on loudspeaker oh, so that everyone can actually hear you. So, basically, what I am actually going to ask you is before we actually go deeper into detail with everything, I actually want you to give a brief introduction about who we like is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And don't forget we want to, know. to actually tell people that you are a business person, you know. So please just greet our viewers where to number listeners where to and give them a short introduction about who to like you back. Hi Lucky. I'm a single dad as the show is all about single dad. I've I've grown a father of two girls. Okay. I've been separated with their mother maybe like nine and twelve or thirteen years back. I can't remember. Since I've been raising them alone, I've been like, so since I've been waking, now I'm no longer waking all along, but I'm a 
happy with my life going on. I've been raising my kids. My mother helping me on the side and everything. So lucky and basically just a normal human being. Like everyone else trying to live by South Africa. Oh, okay. I like that that introduction. It's like he's just a normal person, like everyone likes at Africa. Absolutely. And I love the introduction that you gave. Like he's saying, you've been raising your your two daughters for how old are they? Twelve years now. Yes, uh, the first girl, the first one, I'm actually in October. She's gonna be turning uh, twelve, and then the, wow. the second one in January, she's turning ten years. I wonder how is that like raising two uh two two daughters two females you know as a single dad how is that experience like because right now you're saying that um your daughter the first one is going to be turning 12 in october she's a pretty teen now how's that experience like yeah like i said it's been a difficult road that one line mm-hmm. it's been a lot of support like from you know family members Melville, you know, hello that's so true a lot of along sorry the way. From first show to the last show, ne? Okay. Eya manja uti ne ono yolanda. Uti ulo yolanda yolanda masego u then uti ne ono kusema. summarized basically but everything in, in, in everything that you've just said right now a question that i have for you being a man you know yeah. men are actually yeah, right. known to be monsters, monsters. Mm, they, they're perceived as monsters they're perceived as monsters exactly even our little daughters they are told that this is how men are this is what men do you know so what would you say to other men that are actually going through a problem so maybe there's there's men that are actually going through a divorce or mm. they have actually separated with the, with the, the with the baby mamas if i can say that what advice would you would you have for those people what would you say to those people what time is everything so with time everything gets better so you don't need obviously when it's the beginning you feel like hey this is the end of the world we've been together for 10 years 30 years no yeah Focus on what you as a person, because when you enter into a relationship, lots of people oh, tend to forget who they are and what they want, and, and as they are trained, so you need that time as well to focus on yourself, focus on you, mm-hmm. and find what you need. So to learn out there, you don't need to kill women, you don't need to eat women, and no, we don't need that. You just have to find yourself, focus on moving forward, build yourself, and then find from where if. Use that previous relationship to be the better man to the next relationship. 
mm. rather than you be, becoming angry and doing anger and bitterness doesn't solve anything you end up going to jail for yeah. years you leave the kids being going to different places so I would, I would, I would rather advise them to say you know what they say now is the time things are no longer working let's call it the task accepted take it one day at a time you know like talking to people you don't keep the bottle being because one of the bottle is being used there alone you'll end up being broken that's so you need to know that a lot a lot of people was something that you actually said when you started with um your conversation you said that the moment your kids were born after you separated from them you decided that you actually want to stay single and live for your kids and your kids so a question that i would like to ask is do you ever see yourself getting married do you ever see yourself finding love again? I mean, at the end of the day, everyone deserves to have someone in their life. Everyone deserves to find happiness. Mm, that's true. So at that age now, we talk everything like and that's what you can like it can start more in that I tell them about boys what boys will do to you. You understand we like friends. They don't lie to me. We like it. They didn't. So the thing is they always say that ah, what about you getting someone? You understand? For them, I took that sacrifice knowing that in relationships sometimes you make people who are from angry who are from angry like abusive relationships yes. you understand not knowing because when we, we meet someone you will see the person for that person on that person what that person needs you to see but not knowing the scars and the deeper things that you're gonna uh, 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 find at the, the later stage so with me i just thought you know what let me not bring drama into this children's life for now let me sacrifice my happiness for now and let them grow. Well, once they're grown, I'm, I'm in, next year I'm turning 14. I'm still fresh. I can yeah. do anything I want. I'm <laughs> yes. yes. grown up. I mean, I'm I don't have anything to regret anyway. Yeah. And then, like, yeah. I'm staying, doing things. I did meet people along the way, not just yeah. so like, but I didn't want to so, yeah. bring them too much close to my big kids because yeah, that's, that's bringing pool and people going away from kids. Yeah. Yeah. Is indeed. Last question I have for you is if you are asked to choose between raising two daughters, two girls, and two boys, which would you would, would you choose? I wouldn't change it. You know, like with my girls, they've told me a lot. Since I actually since I this are my only kids. Before like I didn't mention that I only have two kids from the same mother. Mm-hmm. I can't take them for anything. Those were the things told me. Even now, 
is very beautiful. Another question, the last question that I have for you, is considering that your your firstborn is going to be in her teens in the year. So, do you think you are ready for that challenge that comes with um, teenagehood? Né? Like they start they start dating, being exposed to boys, high school. The, the drama that comes with being a teenager. Do you think that you are ready for that? Send it to me. I don't know. I just want them to focus on you know? understand that education. Yes, sir. I don't send it to you. Baba, I don't know. Baba, I don't know. Because if you don't know, I don't know. 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 I so much lucky for those amazing words i think that you've actually empowered and inspired a lot of men men need to know that it is actually not a sin in being single and it's not a sin in raising your own kids so we actually need to applaud such men you actually deserve a bells Give for them everything bells. <laughs> and all the words that you said wishing you all the best with your kids and may everything that you're wishing for your kids may it happen and yourself and yourself you know Thank you very much, Lucky, for giving us your time and your moment. We hope that actually people listen and people are actually interested in everything that you just said. So that was Lucky that joined us today on the Community Connection. And don't forget to always tune in. I love Melbourne Dot live and then also live on tiktok if there's anything that you guys want to say more about today's topic and anything about what you like you just said you guys can connect thank you very much lucky and have a beautiful weekend because so our weekend will actually be interesting already thank you so much lucky thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so it is actually time for the it's 10 58 the news is gonna be at 11 and because she knows that people like in so she's sitting there waiting just for that two minutes of actually coming and dishing out to what's happening in and around our country i guys personally would like to say that every word that like you said is actually inspiring it's, it's very inspirational i mean you can even hear the love from his that voice he has and the price exactly. that, that he carries for his girls, for his girls you know who can dedicate like actually sacrifice their happiness for their daughters 
Not many. Not others. many. There's actually celebrities that are also single fathers. For example, Wise Men Ngobe. Wise Men Ngobe, known as Usbonelo from Uzalo, is also raising his daughters by himself. Hello, hello. 2018. Sure. So he's raising his daughters that alone. So a big up to you, single men <laughs> that are actually single dads. You guys rock. Me, no, yeah, my it's daughter. It's At the end, end of the end, day, end, thank you so much, guys, that for that interesting cut, cut topic. So, selling a one minute until Van Pagela in Daba, Nina and Tanda in Daba, and then keep listening to us and keep tuning to us. Do not forget. Dorozo, are you ready? Over to you. It's top of the hour. Time for news on I Love Marvel. Live. Man appears in court for allegedly murdering a 15-year-old Eastern Cape school girl in fit of range. Three people arrested for allegedly bombing Houting Electricity Substation. Senzo Meiwa murder trial to finally kick off after several days. It's April 22nd. Good morning. Thank you for choosing I Love Malvo.live. A 27-year-old Eastern Cape has been arrested for allegedly murdering his 15-year-old girlfriend in a jealous rage on Friday, on Good Friday rather. The incident happened in an industrial area known as Ezitendene in Kwanzilemanzi in Ellis last Friday. Siabonga Kondile, the man in custody, worked as a brick worker at one of many small brick-making firms in the area. Gondila appeared in the Ellis Magistrates Court on Wednesday in a murder charge. He is being remanded in custody pending a bail application on Monday, 25th April. Police spokesperson Captain Sipogazi Mawisa says the victim was allegedly beaten to death, but post-mortem will confirm the death, the cause of death rather. Three people in the Three people are in police custody for allegedly bombing an electricity substation in Vanderbilt Park, Gauteng. The power station was damaged on Good Friday when a security guard allowed three men indicating to be municipal employees to access the substation, says police spokesperson Brenda Mudirile. The trial of five men accused of the murder of football player star Senzo Meiwa is expected to begin in the today in today at Gauteng High Court in Pretoria after several delays. The matter has been postponed to give the defense lawyers more time to consult with their clients. Meiwa's sisters say they are desperately seeking closure after his death. The highly anticipated third edition of Cotton Fest takes place this weekend in Newtown, Johannesburg. Festival goers will be given the full Cotton Fest experience in the honor of the late rapper Ricky Rick. In memory of the co-founder of the festival, organizers has promised that the weekend will be filled with the celebration of life and appreciation of current youth culture. For I Love Melville.live, I am Dawa Zohate. A young boy you pull in the lock shit with no role models Not even anything anyone could show morals Four months old, he knows he says he's independent All on the road Let's be responsible while we do it The smile and the look in the eyes when I buy them new kids Like Juan A. Morris and the rest of the pros Family over everything to the end of the road Somebody tell him it's over, it's over, it's over for my enemies Tell him it's over Tell him it's over, they keep on wasting, keep on wasting on the energy From a son to a mama, this got me thinking my mama Uncle listen to me, the man I am, took me away from the drama Nam Sanje, I'm a better man Nam Sanje, Jum Sanji, Wong can treat me like a veteran Ben you so call, I yeah, I knew, got to Nkulu Nkulu had a better plan Nkulu 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 Pantelena Nyesi Kati Seikina Magu Kala Matinga Just keep your hopes high Keep on keeping up 
keep on, you just keep, keep on, on you holding on. Keep on, you gotta keep on, on keeping on. Keep on, you just keep, keep, on, keep on, on, you keeping on. on. Attention to everything that's around you. Oh, Mega Bang and scheming without you won't even count you. Devils when they pretend on your back, they talking about you. But busy, but devils beyond the place won't even pronounce you. Hey, all you need to do, book temple pezulu. Baba Yapa no tembi liche no tembu mundu. Focus our weeks as a lack of how to make it better. Wake up from your ashes, clever. You need to get it together. Kubeku Yapa mbili, no other alternative. Impiling on. It's what we trying to live Hold on, I'm not And that's just how it is And see push on You gotta keep on keeping on Just keep on holding on You gotta keep on keeping on Just keep on keeping on Just keep on holding on Just keep on keeping on Agu kogu shuru pandelera Ngesi kasi seikina Thank you very much. And shout out and big up again to Ulaki on our previous topic that was a single dad. We've now entered our last show, meaning that we last left hour. last hour of Thank the you. show. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that to us? You, you want to end us? I'm not happy I'm as well. With my behavior. I'm not happy. And that was Undugza with Bambelela. You guys remember Undugza was. Yeah, from tear gas. If you guys really? remember tear gas, yes, that was him. He's freaking out. I only know Mr. Easy, Easy. Um, from that was tear gas. Him. That was him. Unduksa. And then, guys, moving on forward. Hope you guys are still listening to us and you guys are still interested in everything that we are doing and saying. We're now going into our next feature, which is this one. Mm -hmm. that was a school. And today, what we're actually going to be talking about the school talk is about the effects of taking a gap year. Those that do not know what a gap year is, let's say you just finished me this year, ne? Mm -hmm. yes. After you finish me this year, you decide to shift to Yeah, it's that rest that you that rest that you take for a year, guys. That is the gap year. What the gap year? Ma si nyo? No, we're talking about the gap year. A school, you guys, ne? So Udinewa Sky, in fact, is going to be giving you guys more information about taking. I'm a effect so of taking a gap year. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we'll we are going to be giving out information about <laughs> taking a gap year. Have you ever taken a gap year from school? No, I've never <laughs> taken a gap year. As soon as I finish my metric, yeah, like I I'm going to varsity. And then after varsity, I'm going to a mini certificate in Indiana. Yeah. And then after yeah. certificate, I start making babies. Yeah, I can remind you. No, guys, yeah. this whole thing, yeah, I'm taking a gap year. That's how you do it. And I think most matriculants who haven't actually figured themselves out what they want to do in life or what they want to study or pursue, they are resourced to take yeah. From speaking from personal experience, that is not the way to go. Find something to do. Find something educational to do if you don't want to go to work. Social media organizations. Just come out from school. Fresh from school. There's not a lot of ideas, guys. Taking a gap year is just a no. I mean, there are in five chances. There's always going to be that one positive thing that comes out of it. And usually the four, it's not good. Trust me, you're not gonna just. Your brain is gonna yeah, be moment. asleep for that year. Yeah. You are gonna be yeah. gallivanting yeah. around yeah. your neighborhood yeah, like and getting exposed yeah. to yeah. things that you are not supposed to be exposed to. Yeah. Cassie life is not yeah. nice. Trust me, seeing those people buckle conning and everything, mm -hmm. those most people mm -hmm. named Baba Dula Kukoning are results of a gap year. Exactly. And if they have the trick, they are results of a gap year. Because I know so many people from my hood, right? um, from my neighborhood where I live. Um, you know, so it is just so it is rough. You know, most people know it for its non -planning. and then you get people who are educated, who are academics man, in high school, and then decide on taking a gap year. I know these two, Yolanda, mm -hmm. yes. they are twins, these mm -hmm. guys, they are twins. Um, so they were good, but like, even if you hear them talking, you can. 
You can yeah. 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 academic yeah. speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The only problem now is that they have resorted to in your you find them selling your ice guavas, your cool times and everything in the streets <laughs> because they decided like no we, let's try to have to put money for this year um, and then see where that takes us those guys now it's, it's, it's sad but can you I, I, I wouldn't yeah. advise a gay beer to even my west uh, and you know how our parents are once you decide that you're taking a gap year. The moment you finish high school, guys, mm-hmm. ne, our parents think that now I'm supporter, umama, umbaba. You know, they now start looking for a job, and then you start working. And once you start earning, imadi, so it's that I'm a sendoyenzi. You turn to forget about your dreams, and you turn to forget about where you actually want to be. And once you start working, you don't want to go back to school. So we actually wouldn't advise taking a gap year. It's better going to school and finishing what you started. And trust me, the money that you get uh, from whatever job you are doing, got that gap year. It's it's not equivalent to what you could have been getting. Got your qualifications once you are done with it. I mean. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's nice getting get a salary, salary at the end of the month, and in most cases, you get jobs like call centers after metric, right? And call centers, um, basically, thing it's like four thousand, four thousand guys for metric we, we get, if you, especially if you don't have a kid. It looks like it's a lot. No, I didn't. Guys, it's nothing. Once you start tasting money, salary, there comes responsibilities. You need to contribute at home. You start having things that oh you need to do. Okay. You start having debit so orders, unnecessary debit so orders. Gonna, and then you need to like, like money. Get no, to man. I could have been doing so much with um okay. with school, finishing my, my my studies, and then actually getting so much more than what So with with gap year, guys, no, it's a no no. Finish so, what you hello. started and become so, a better person. Like, like, At the end of the day, we all want a better oh, future and we all want to be successful. Oh, oh, so, 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 of which you have been told, telling yeah, me <laughs> all about it because I know nothing about this. So we're going to help corner people, and we for the day we will be talking about meningitis. Exactly. I didn't oh, meningitis. Oh, I always hear that word, ne? And then that on the what is meningitis? People, just because we're teaching it doesn't mean that we know everything. <laughs> so the first time I'm hearing about this, but then I don't know what it is. Is it what is it? What is meningitis? Is it some headache or is it like? A fatal yeah. um, disease. What what is meningitis? Because I have zero. Remember when I was asking you earlier on what, yes. what it is? Yes. So basically, connectors. Meningitis is an inflammation, swelling, right? Swelling of the protective membrane covering the brain and spinal cord. Spinal <laughs> cord. Oh, that's what no, it is. That's what meningitis that is. Scary. Is. So it is it is actually caused by a bacterial or a viral infection of the fluid surrounding the brain and spinal cord, usually causing the swelling. However, injuries such as cancer, certain drugs, and other types of infections can also cause meningitis. It's a treatment for meningitis, guys. It sounds scary. It's like like sort of cancer, yeah. Like it's scary like cancer because yeah. you're telling me the swelling of the brain. Yeah. Who wants their brain to swell? Yeah. You guys, nobody wants their brain to swell. Please. So basically, yeah. how yeah. people get meningitis is, yeah. is when the common bacteria or virus that causes men- meningitis can spread through yeah. coughing, sneezing, oh. kissing, yeah. sharing, I'm yeah. eating yeah. utilities, a toothbrush, or cigarettes. So meningitis. Scaf- huh? Scaf- uh-uh. Meningitis. Scaf- Meningitis. Guys, then there's our scape na 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 na. We're giving you information, we're teaching you today that scape. Since I'm up, my pulling yana to her. Kissing as well, guys. And kissing. Please abstain well. from kissing as well. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> we no, are saying yes, abstain from kissing. I see one of the team is saying that no. Guys, you get an injection, your brain will swell. You already heard the implications <laughs> and what you get from it. We don't want that. We still love you. We want to see you guys back at work. Thank you. Thank you. You know. And symptoms is that you have sudden 
high fever, a stiff neck, a sore headache that seems different from normal. You know, there's a lot of people that are actually suffering from a migraine. You find that you've got a headache that is starting from the back and it's kind of like all the way to the front. And then they might be confusion or difficulties in concentrating, you may be nauseous or vomiting. And I hope you guys are listening. Sometimes um, you can't sleep, or you actually have difficulties yeah, in walking, or you're just sensitive to light. You don't want to sit in, in like where there's actually light. You want to sit in the darkness. So those are actually the symptoms. Now let's actually now go to the treatment, and then after we are done with the treatment, we are wrapping up the health corner. We are talking. That is what you want now. You know, <laughs> well, second topic is so, very, very interesting and controversial, eh? Exactly. Very interesting. So it says here that treatment in most um, cases, there is no specific treatment for viral meningitis. Most people who get mild viral meningitis usually recover my technical assistance completely in is seven to ten days without treatment. But then it also says that yeah. other treatments that you guys can get you can buy over the counter such as pain medications to help reduce the fever and relieve the body. Okay, for something so severe, you can actually cheat it with medicine from over the counter. That is convenient. So, yeah, and people actually need to know that meningitis, viral meningitis, actually lasts to seven to ten days. So, that case, so there are types of meningitis. Yeah. Meaning that there's actually types of meningitis. And people need to know that it's not just in kids, in adults, and it's not just for kids, honestly. No, I think in this. That was our health corner topic for today. Introducing our next topic. I think people are actually going to love it. Yeah, witchcraft slash super superstition. Yeah, mm. This is what we are like woo, woo, talking like, about. Yeah. I think we all want to learn about things that make the pots to be done. The supernatural things. So I'm going to say, 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 I will pause. So, thank you. All of us want to learn how to be on a boom. Use a broom for as a transport. Oh, I thought brooms were for weddings, jumping the broom. Now people use it as transportation. <laughs> Yolanda, what are you not telling me? What did you come here with? Hmm? I'm telling you, people use brooms for <laughs> you like, like, Alelo, what transportation did you come here with? I use the taxi, but in case I don't have money for transport. When I don't have money for transport, guys, I'm giving you tips. I don't want people to be fired from work. You can take bread. This bread. Yeah, mm. banana or anything that's gonna get you to work as long as you I, get to I work. I think the banana is like skating board for them. Yeah. yeah. Really and imagine cool. how cool that would be. I'm mm, on top of a that's really cool. I can see literally everything. You know, I think I'd be the most famous imagine person of the day. If such things were normalized, like just seeing someone ra- on a random day, Jay, flying with a broomstick or being on top of a loaf white, yeah, Albani, that would be so cool. You know, sing like going as like witchcraft, and it should be a normal thing. Our grannies need to actually <laughs> tell us about these things. If you know someone who knows someone, Okokwake is doing the things. Please, you guys give Both us a us holla. Give us details. We want to be part of it. We want. We want to learn transportation, we're guys. Tired of suffering, guys. Petrol, yatura, Like we're tired of suffering, guys. So, so, please, so there's anyone that has information, please do <laughs> share that. Like, I think, think makers would make a lot of money. So I think before we should get to the, we can play a song. Sichai bego kina, and then we sing some about Dunziza. And fly, <laughs> Mrs. Producer and Mr. Producer, please Do make the word. God vibes only. God vibes only. Good, good, good.
good, good, good. Alright, good vibes only. Alright, good, 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 good. She go, she go, give it, give it a bong. Holy marijuana, we be smoking with the bong. Then down at December, now she's singing me the song. It's in denial, man, we get it, get it on. What you have on There's no need for you to be afraid Cause I will be here I'll hold your hand When you're ready to go I'll take you there Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's a, that is a gemma, guys. That is a gemma. It got me dancing. I don't dance. I, 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 ooh, I have two left feet, guys. But I was on top of this table as I chair. I hope right that now. you guys are actually still with us and you guys are actually dancing with us on this beautiful Friday. It's five to go home time. Going back to our topic for today, which is witchcraft slash superstitions. What superstitions do we actually 
question that I know is that um, like cats, like cats are associated with bad luck, a broken mirror. If you break a mirror, but you get like seven years of bad luck. Even walking under the stairs, get like seven years. Why does it have to be seven years? All the time, it's like seven years. Oh, me. You know what? Let me ask you my seven years. Okay. Guys, I don't know if I'm right now. But then uh, TikTok, please comment and 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 correct me if I'm wrong. Apparently, there's this thing yeah, about God slash Jesus. Yeah. I think it's it's God's favorite number because apparently everything He did, He takes a break every time no. on the seventh day. Oh, that's make sure we are it's a number of perfection. Mm. Okay, so does that mean that seven years that represents perfection? So if you break a mirror after seven years, <laughs> then you get after seven years that's when you're gonna be released from your whatever bad, bad luck or whatever bad curse you get. Is it that what it means? Yes. It can't be. It really, it really can't be. And another thing, another thing that we get um is apparently girls are not supposed to stand on the door when they're on the periods. That is that is something we find in our black culture. When, 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 our, when our black culture, when it comes to superstitions, ah, they lead the way. Um, let's why salt, guys. Apparently, you're not supposed to come with salt inside the house at night. Exactly. And why? Apparently, if you eat inside a pot, we women aren't supposed to be eating inside a pot. It's going to be raining, it's gonna on, be your raining wedding. on your wedding day. I mean, guys, who wouldn't want oh, it to rain on their wedding day? It I means wouldn't. Blessings. I wouldn't. Put I my would. makeup. People, my my dress it's gonna get cold. Ah, I know my sins are being washed away at that day, so I would actually want it to rain on my absolutely not. I wouldn't want that even for my worst enemy because firstly, my shoes, my white dress, my people, the guests. You know, like we have a stretch uh stretch tent. People are gonna get rain. Absolutely not. And then apparently again. They say that throwing away food is like no, I'm not. Mm-hmm. And it's you inviting poverty. Im- no, guys, what if you don't like whatever it is that you're eating, or you're full, or you live alone? I mean, if you live alone, there's no, you don't have a dog to give away the food to, so obviously you need to throw it away. I mean, some superstitions are just questionable, and uh, the, the, you can't find a valid reason why. I, um, I think we are that generation that always asks, why? Exactly. Why? Yes. And why? we actually have, she's actually one of us, and She's one of the people that we have online, and she's going to be talking to us and giving us more information about superstitions and, yeah, witchcraft and everything. Come here, I'm Tagata, or when I'm a method, Dr. Tagata, that she actually wants to share with us, you know. So we actually do have Usnan Zola online with us. Are you still there? Oh, you're, you're loading it. No, like, well, like, okay, we so, are so, 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 in, in the bar, daytime, so you that you don't know, have to buy fuel, guys. Like, <laughs> fuel prices are not a joke. No, they are killing us. They are legit killing us. There's Nenzolo here with us online. Mm-hmm. Hello, Nenzolo. Can you hear us? How are you? The topic that we actually have today is called witchcraft slash superstitions. I do not know, but please do share with us. Yes, and superstitions. Use that mic. Use that mic. Oh man, that's a church call. Uh, I have my own experiences of apparently being a lawyer at some point in my life. Even though wow. I actually <laughs> never ever <laughs> 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 So since I'm a singer, may I was I was singing a lot. And mm-hmm. the lawyer would be like, you know, in this singing career. And I remember there was a time when I was on stage singing, and then even there, me they appeared right there and there. Now I couldn't know who to was. And I was like, oh my mm-hmm. god! Like, so it means 
food that never is there on the social media. It's actually yeah, true yeah. because even say I have my internet middle of literally nowhere and I couldn't even sing anymore. They I went out. Wow. So do you think Uti, it comes with jealousy? I mean like it should come with jealousy. Witchcraft. Yeah. It should I come with jealousy. I think you have to take them from jealousy because I mean I'm not if you were to give me an estimation, how much does it cost? Just to Why would you even want that? Why would you even want to know that? No, we're giving people information. People want to know, right? Well, they're able to call it Okay, talking about stroke, let me ask you a question. So, let me money I want. so basically, we so buy stroke for 10 grand. And the person stroke. suffers a stroke. Yes. So, do you think a little bit of a stroke? Guys, then you say, I want this person to have a stroke for 10 grand or whatever it is that you want. Then we have to. So, in everything that you've actually suffered, you would actually agree and say that. Target for corn. I'm very oblivious, but I'm gonna have to say it really does exist. Okay. Alright. So one thing I'd like to know again is that is it something that only women do or can I guys? That one I know. I call I call even though it's not a obviously as women, but that is hectic. I thought it's some something that only ladies do. Yo, because apparently even in Limpopo you find yourself with shabuka lightning during the day, Jay, during sunlight, Jay. Ow, lightning. It was meant for you. That is hectic, guys. What is the weirdest superstition that you've ever heard of? Sorry. What is the weirdest superstition that you, you have ever heard of? Oh, the weirdest superstition. Mm-hmm. Oh, my word. I mean, with superstitions, we find what you're not supposed to go to Ngene, Epsugu, and Motuai, Amanzi, Awangeni, Epsugu, those kind of things. So, what is the, the craziest that you've heard personally? Like, maybe I'm getting into the umbrella. Also, when you do that, that's the biggest one I've ever heard. I think it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. And yeah, that's when you're kind of happy to say what's happening. I'm going to think of that one later. I'm going to look at Algeria and see the Ubuli Amber because something bad is going to happen. Another one I think that maybe you've heard of, especially Lena, again, Yamasu Ugeli. Apparently, that when you have a, 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 a baby, when you, your son or your daughter is actually going to turn a year, one year old, right? Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to cut your child's hair before they wow. turn one years or one year. Why? Apparently, they're not going to be able to walk okay. if you yeah. cut their hair before that. Yeah. Because Zulu people actually believe that a man's a woman, as a can, are in the hair. I don't want to some sort, they believe in some sort of Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. Thank you so much, Snares Nancy, for joining us on that freaky topic of ours. I thought you were going to give us tips on how to, to fly with the boom. Unfortunately, I don't use the boom as a transport mode. I would love to. Afraid to literally fly around. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Nancy, and we hope you have a great weekend ahead. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So basically, guys, I don't want to say this community. I don't want to to name this community. Ah, not from there. Yo, as I'm about to say about this community, there's a monkey. When you are sleeping, you hear a monkey jumping on the rooftop from one house to the next. I don't want to give more information because you guys are going to say I come from there. Uh -uh. But I know about this thing, about a monkey, because I've experienced and heard the monkey. You've experienced? You've seen it? Yeah, no. Guys, this community is so freaky. 
there was actually this guy, right? Mm. And this guy was drinking. And as he was drinking, he came, he was actually drunk. He was going home. About 3 a.m. I need you guys to know that it's Katsobu Tagati. Sitala from 12. 12. And Tim with 3. But number 4, 4. Seba Lung Selu Yolala. Number 5. You understand? Seba Katel, I guess. So now, you know people that drink, and he's going home past three. As he's going home, he's walking, he's walking. In this community that I'm talking about, mm-hmm. and I know this guy, guys, he actually, we lived to hear the story and to see how my effects were called that are actually happening in Korea. So what happened to him is, as he's walking, he's drunk, he sees someone further down. Mm-hmm. He calls that person, and I want to go to him fan. So he's actually going and going and going and going and going. And the moment that he actually gets there, mm-hmm. this monkey turns around. Yo! He actually called a monkey to wait for him because he thought that it was actually someone. He what? wanted to walk with that person. What? Up until today, the guy basically lost it. He's he was now. able, he lived to tell the story. But he went like he went mentally disturbed. That is by crazy. Just seeing that monkey. So basically, he was not supposed to see it. Such Mara. things are actually not meant to be seen I, with the naked eye. Naked. But apparently, guys, if you are dog, ne, let me give you. A, if you have a dog, let me give you a method. More nature. If you have a dog at home and you no in the take your dog ne, and go to your dog's eyes. No. You no. see the freaky things that no. There's these white things that dogs have on their eyes. You take those things, or even if it's that waterish things that comes out of mm-hmm. dogs' eyes, you take them and you actually rub them on your eyes. Guys, you'll see people fly with booms, with breads. You see everything that's happening at night. And another tip I'm gonna tell you guys is if you see a witch, don't oh, scream me because if we are screamer. He, she or he's gonna run away. Pretend as if you see just an ordinary person. I've heard Mind that. Your own business. That person is gonna be stuck on your door or wherever they are until people see. How, is it proven? No, it is proven. Yeah. By who? By this community. Well, oh, the one that I'm talking about. The yeah, I'm gonna yes, speak in yes. the community. So if you guys actually see a person doing funny things, that's this snacks. I'm screaming on board. I'm bullying people. Pretend as if it's nothing. Just look at this person. Do whatever you are doing. That person will, will be stuck there. If they're at your door, they're stuck at and, your door. And, and they're not going to be able to move. Apparently, they're able to use a dead body's person and maybe it's an octavula or something. Yes. Is that a real thing? Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, we watched it with Spy. Who's this? Yeah, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Mm. Oh, oh, she watched it with Spy. It does happen, yeah, guys. It does. Yeah. I mean, if you remember, there was a, a famous um, yeah. 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 singers yeah. that passed yeah. away. No, um, um, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a guy that came back saying that we apparently about Tribuli and everything that they must see. I remember that. I remember that story. So people actually know that such things do actually exist. But guys, do not forget at the end of the day, prayer is powerful. God above everything. And I certainly believe that if you believe in something, that's when it actually happens and that makes sense. If you don't believe in the supernatural, exactly. it won't. It will It will never. It will never affect you in any way. So to just come down on the topic. Because, wow, this is the issue the topic, okay? Because I think it, it happens a lot in black communities. I think before we actually go to a song, why not give the motivation of the day? And so that we can have enough time to say about our guys and shine. Okay. Well, right? What, what, do you have a motivation so, for the day? Let's rather have a motivation mm-hmm. for the day oh, for today. Mm-hmm. And, and I think we need a, a song people. before that. And after that. I think after that. It says that when you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let it go because nothing is impossible. It says when you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let go because nothing is impossible. No, it is amazing. It is amazing. It shows that at the end of the day, nothing is impossible. My dream, I think, I think I've reached. L I L M. 
I'm where I want to be, but I actually haven't reached that point. Guys, I want to be a well-known, best-selling author. Oh, okay. That is my dream. Have you written any books yet? Okay, yeah, I do have a book. I do have a book. And I've actually started writing another book. The name of the first book is? guys. So... I need yeah. to pray I mean, and get like things going. Target to be ecstatic. Just like Snedzolo was talking, mm. I can also second that. Mm. I'm sitting with a book that it's I literally like, wrote with my yeah. own two hands. With <laughs> it's so it's neat, guys. I've got a beautiful okay. handwriting. Even if I have to say so myself, it was written by me with my own pen. I even decorated the front cover and everything. So I'm mm. sitting with it. It's just that I need to find someone that can publish. Cool. The book, I think it's so the book was actually called 99 oh. Characters of a Black Biologic White. What? what? So then, don't talk about Pila. What's the show? People change the show, no, don't talk about Pila. Yeah, who is the author of 99 Characters of a Black Biologic? So, yeah, that was my dream and yours. Yeah, I think that check on the photo. I want to be with these people, and currently, I am living the dream. And you are within the people, exactly. I am I'm connected to the people, you know. Even though your producer is watching you, she can't believe it. Yeah, you know. So, I think that we can play that song, and then after that song, we go to our eyes and shine. Mr. Producer and Mrs. Producer. We don't really have forever. The time is now. Never say never. And ever and ever and 
ever. Assault, assault. Let us suffer in Catholic Cook. Until we don't have to end. Shine. As I was a shine. Um, so today with Shine, our good people, we are going to be talking about the legendary Mendoza. You know, the Aras and Shine guys, ne? It, it's actually dedicated to people that started from nothing. Started from the bottom, now they yeah. actually went through a certain pain or struggle in their life, but then they became what and who they are today. So why not actually actually remember our late Kwaito singer? That was a that one is a legend. Like, you know? So we've decided that today it's actually dedicated to Umandoza. I mean when you think is, of Umandoza you think of Unkalaga. Like that's even Mahua. Why people know the song? Even the, the dead, the dead. If, like guys, it 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 should be world renowned. Exactly. Song. It should. I call it a quote. Zaza. You know, if you guys that's remember, one song that makes us yes, united. Yes, you know, and I love it. I love keep it in Puma. With the sunshine, the song. with the with the, with the <laughs> Yes, exactly. So Mandoza is actually known as Mtutuzi Edmond Shabalala, who was born January 1978. So he passed on on the 18th of September when it was 2016. And his death was tragic for we, we mourned as, as as a country, as a nation. We we lost exactly. we lost a legend. Ooh. Honestly. And so many people were like, oh, why <laughs> him? Why not this one? I'm like, ah, guys, if not him, then who? If not him, then who? Because we did a such thing. I mean, he comes from so where to where I come from, but hello, hello. As all, we, yeah. we, we have these people, man. We had legends. So he comes from Soweto, um, Ezola. Um, he uh, parents were who's uh, Nobesutu Shapalala. He had children as well. He had um two children. Mm-hmm. Um, again, his albums, his music, his music lives on. He had Ama um, albums, which is Ngalagata, Tornado, Pinyu, Gabampete, Nohotoba. Exactly. Your personal favorite, I assume. Yeah, it is. Going back to his life as Zola, when Umandoza was actually 16 years old, he was charged with stealing cars what? and received one and a half year sentence, which he served at the prison, which is known as his sunshine, his sun city. That's how we know it, you know. But it was actually known as the prison. So you guys can see that before Umandoza actually be- became a well known Guaido singer, he was actually. He went through things, you know, because people need to actually maintain their lifestyles, you know, and there's always a prayer pressure. The moment that he was released from prison, Mandoza formed his own group called Ichiskop along with his three childhood friends, Uspiwe, Uspu, no, Sizwe, right? And then that is when the group actually signed their first record contract for eight years after its formation and released their debut album, Claim. Ah, that song. Exactly, wow. you know. So that's how it actually began. And then although Chiscop received great success and was widely seen to be a white dose forefront, Mendoza also started a solo career in 1999. That's when he released his top selling album that actually sold more than 100 copies mm. and the album was actually 9115 Zola South for which he gained a 2000 um, FNB South African Music Awards Best Newcomer nomination and then in 2000 he actually released a Galagat dude, even white people Galagata. especially white people love Umandoza Galagat of course, as they should I mean, like South Africans. I think we shouldn't just say white people. South Africa as a whole loves Ngalagat. That that should be after Sister Bettina should be our <laughs> national anthem, honestly. And uh, he died at the age of thirty eight. Yeah, he was actually oh, wow. still young. He was very and young, man. I think that he had actually acquired everything that he wanted in his life because in two thousand and four he was actually voted. He, he he was actually number seventy seven in the top hundred of great South African South Africans in two thousand and four, and then in two thousand and five it was announced that Mandoza would be a major playing role in a South African made rabbit themed future film number ten. 
oh, which will, w- would be directed by Academy Award nominee Daryl James, right? And then it was also announced that Mandoza would be contributing to the film's soundtrack. And Mandoza actually sang in several South African songs and languages, including English, Afrikaans, Zulu, Kosa, which actually gave him a wide, a, a wide appeal with South African listeners. And then in September, he passed away, as you said, 2016. And according to his family, he was actually being treated for cancer. Hmm. Wow. So we Mendoza actually has nine solo albums that he actually released, you know. So e- e- a rise and shine. I think our aim for always having e- a rise and shine, guys, is that we want to show people that no matter how you lived your life or no matter what you did, you can change your life at any time within a split of a second. The only thing it needs is for you to change the negativity and turn it into positivity. We need energy. Yes. Which is why you always need to unplug unnecessary people in your life so you can actually become a better person. So I really want to just show people that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, you can't be going and not have a solution or like that rainbow at the end of the storm. There always comes that point whereby, okay, after so much you endure, there's good things that are going to come after good news you're going to receive after so this is just to empower people that please people keep on pushing this is going to be your breakthrough might just be tomorrow you know so Arazo Chan is very very motivational it is very motivational and I'm forgetting that Mandoza was actually married to Porsche Kalala and Mandoza was actually the father of Utuku Loshabalala and Utume Loshabalala and we actually say Big up to your father. I think your father actually yeah. was an inspiration and still is an inspirational. What? From day one. You know, he didn't actually pretend to be what he's not. He actually told people from day one that, hey, in Joji Moto. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he told his story. He made it known. He made it known. Say, Please don't judge me by my past. I will not even try to hide my past. I will not try to hide who I was. Because for some weird reason, that makes you who you are at the end of the day, right? And actually, I mean, without our past, we 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 nothing. Out. And actually, a lot of people are actually now arising and shining. I mean, I think it was two days back. Oh, Lillian Dube said that she actually used to be an ex social worker, not no sex worker. I mean, <laughs> they got my horse. Uh, yeah, so, I understand that, so that she actually told so sex and living, which shows that there's a lot of people that made their lives great today English our English. history actually always <laughs> makes our future look brighter absolutely absolutely so why not and it's actually now 11 52 and we have spoken to you guys and we've made you guys dance oh mr producer no mrs producer and the main producer of the show was sana made it possible for us if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't be talking today so thank you very much you guys for that moment of shining <laughs> yana for fixing and making sure that we always have everything and something to say to keep you guys entertained and big thank up to you guys big up to you sana big up to big you up to you guys and thank you to our our guests lucky thank you to our guests Mr. Solo. thank you guys for always being brave enough to share your stories with us here at Community Connect. Connect. And thank and you, me. listener, for tuning in. For tuning in. And thank you, TikTok. For TikTok making people. Us watch ourselves. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. There's actually people that are actually viewing mm-hmm. us. And earlier on, we actually had people that were actually interacting with us. So keep doing it, you guys. Yeah, and do not forget days. that it's Monday, so Wednesday, yes. Friday, come and connect with us i'm a connector and let us actually entertain you guys we do not only talk but we keep you guys glued you guys always want to know what is happening absolutely seven minutes nyana <laughs> it's that time of seven minutes nyana of your fame and as usual i do not like taking this moment actually i don't like making this moment about myself it is always about my team and it is always about god and it is always about the people that made us be here today shout out to butabo shout out to mrs amanda 
You guys are simply the best. Shout out to Upagon. Shout out to my amazing <laughs> team that always makes things the team. Happen. Thank Without you so much, guys. You're nothing. The pot wouldn't be done. All right, so after here, we are going to the Zulu News at 12. And I think we can't just leave you. We can't guys, just leave you. We need it's to leave you the song. No, we can we need... keep talking. No, I mean, we have people on TikTok. We can talk to people. People are actually sending hats and everything, right? <laughs> I think you guys have actually seen us doing everything today. We even danced for you guys. We even were singing for you guys. I think you guys felt the love and energy of this show. Keep doing it every day. And if you guys are not on TikTok, please go to I love Melville dot live. 10 to 12. It is Yolanda and Oskai every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So so today, like it's basically the can't say five two weekend. It's the weekend. It's guys. the weekend. So basically, wait seeking Friday night is my favorite F word. Ask me what my my first is. Do you want to know what my what is it? It's food, guys, guys, it's food. So basically, this girl will be out of here in no time. Yoja. And that's what she's going to be doing best. <laughs> and then after food, Mail. Check it's it's hammer. Hammer. It's, um, because I feel like we've been food. sitting with you guys. And we've said <laughs> enough that we have said to you guys. <laughs> and then I hope <laughs> you impressed your behavior <laughs> here too. And then you guys are impressed <laughs> with whatever <laughs> we are bringing you guys. And as always, and as usual, we want to bring you guys valid information. Absolutely. So I think we have actually done and said everything that needs to be done and said. And said. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. <laughs> We can't leave her. We cannot. Yes, yes, yes. We need to. We need to. Mr. Producer and Mr. Producer, please play just one song to keep our connectors connected with this vibey Friday that we actually brought to them. We will see you Monday, guys.
been beat into my body. No more worries, skies are blue now I'm on cloud nine